didn't know this car was showing up today. I guess we just started filming episode three of Smoked. can't tell by the disaster of a C7 Z06 behind me, smoked is about the carnage we see in this industry on a daily basis. And this time, we may have went a little too far. Yeah, what's it called on? He's impressive, right? Nobody? I Not, nothing? I don't, oh yeah, it, it is a manual. <laughs> so we, somewhere under there, I think we have a good yeah. core transmission. Why did we buy this? Because it smoked. That's the point of this whole thing. Wow. <laughs> look at like how, look at like how porous it actually yeah. got. Like fire track. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to figure <laughs> out. Like, what? where is this from? Hey dog, can you answer my question? Because Lee won't. Why did we buy this? I, I mean, it is smoked. Like that's, it, that's it the point. fit it's, by definition. Th that's our that's our whole deal here. It's it's, it's smoked. It's smoked. The most literal definition of smoked you that's, could possibly do. That's the so. point. Yes, yeah, so that's why it's perfect. I mean, that's great, but the only thing that's going to decide here if we get smoked is the condition of this engine. Because if this thing does not have a good engine. We're losing a ton of money on this car. There is no two ways about it. Let me lay out my case here for a good engine. It looks like the fire, whether it was wind or whatever, was blowing back that way. Being that the headlights barely damaged, the front bumper is actually good except for some wreck damage. This carbon hood, that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I don't know if we actually have to pop the hood on this. We might just be able to lift the carbon. Let's peel this back like a husk of corn. Oh, something. well, that don't look too bad. that's way better than I imagined. That does not look too bad. The belt's intact, it's not melted. Oh my God, that actually looks good. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm literally standing in the car right now and it looks like a disaster zone, which, oh wait, we, got, we can send this to somebody for sure. Th this is a good one. We just got this thing on the ground safely. I'm like terrified to put it back up in the air. Safety does not last long here. You guys know that. Oh man. Dude, that's super clean. Well, not this back here. Let me clarify. I mean, that super clean. The trans doesn't even look like you're not just gonna sell it like that, but like for a core. Yeah, oh, it'll be a core, it'll be a rebuild I mean, for like somebody. The, yeah, the dip too. All right, so here's what happened, I think. You see this little brace right there? Yeah. I think when it got hit, it punctured the gas tank up, and that was all oh, she wrote. Oh, so you're looking at, oh yeah, look, look at how ripped that uh -huh. is. So you're looking at impact first. Oh yeah, 100%. And then gas on hot exhaust uh, or whatever. 100%. So look at this, this is the, this is the leaf spray. Yep. Oh yeah. Absolutely nuts. We might have actually got lucky for once. Dry sump lines, like, totally Yeah, I, I bet this thing's still completely full of oil. Totally There's fun. no reason that wouldn't be. Yeah. So I'm gonna go off script just a little bit. You know in this series, we don't talk numbers. That's what salvage stories are for. If you're interested in the financials, the profitability of running a business like this, go over to that playlist. I'm gonna break smoked protocol though and tell you how much I paid on this one because it was dirt cheap. It's the cheapest C7Z06 I've ever seen run at auction at nine grand. Even with that, this car is so smoked that we could really get hurt on it. If this engine was not good or totally melted, we didn't have parts to pull off it to at least salvage something, we were gonna take a bath on this car. There's really no getting around it. This isn't gonna be fun. This is gonna suck. It's gonna be disgusting. It's gonna smell terrible, but we have to do it. So let's get it inside. Amazing. Did you get a mask?
You gotta teach me this. I never Wait, you never have s'mores before? No. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh god. It's my first one. I can't even believe I didn't even think of that. That yeah. you might not have ever had that. Mm -hmm. Okay. First time. Take your first bite of s'more, man. You supposed to taste like wood? <laughs> <laughs> they thought they were watching us take apart cars. Going in for another? Was this your fourth? What do you, what do you mean, man? We're not ordering dinner tonight, it's not in the budget, so eat up. <laughs> so anyway, tonight's first giveaway, this fire pit. But you have to make s'mores in it, or else Fernando's coming to take it back. As per usual in the series, we're trying to keep the giveaways coming. Last time on the 911 Turbo, smashing success. We had like 1,200 comments. We sent a lot of cool stuff out. We're doing the same thing on this one, of course. As always, details will be in the description. <sighs> Trash can. Look at that tire. What are you doing, man? Look at that, yeah. Once again, we see a car here that's wrecked. This was caused by a collision as we already established and the tires are just shot. Let these videos be a lesson, please. <laughs> that didn't feel right. Hold on. It's like the whole rear end move. I'm not quite sure what just happened there. Well, obviously the bushings are burned out of the upper control arm. The shock shot. This rear rod is... Just look at it. Why am I telling you? Fernando, show him. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Be careful. How, don't scratch it. How can you not look at this and just laugh? second giveaway of the night. I was sitting here debating if it's too big to ship or not. If you're in the continental US, all right, you're eligible for this. Everybody else, we love you. Sorry, this is massive. It will cost way too much to ship. You know the rules. You got to do something cool with it. The tire's coming with it. I'm not taking that shit off. Thought, what do they got to say in the comments to get this baby? Keep it rolling. You got to comment, keep it rolling to get the wheel. The excitement of popping plastic clips with a panel popper. We're making progress though. I've been reading the comments about how you don't think we take safety seriously here. Well, I'm about to take off that rear control arm. Fiberglass is going to be raining everywhere. Got it covered. You look like you're about to rob a 7-Eleven. <laughs> Where's your fucking wallet, dog? <laughs> Let's be real. If I robbed anywhere, I'm sorry, buggies. I mean, I'm not robbing a 7-Eleven. You didn't come through with my tattoo offer. Now we got problems. I want the jerky. Fernando, how are you feeling tonight? Pretty good. Pretty confident. You don't think this is going to be a Porsche night? Oh. This is a much better engineered car. <laughs> no arguments for me. I mean, hey, I'm a Porsche and a Corvette fan. Engineering standpoint. Three, two, one and a half. That looks fun. It's better than the rest of the car, right? Totally get there. I mean, I guess there's no way it was <laughs> no way it was started after it uh, got in its little uh, accidente. So you're saying they probably didn't get it fired up? Nah. Well done. <laughs> you guys have a good pun that we missed. Definitely put it in the comments. I don't think we're gonna miss that many. We're bringing the heat all night. What about if the best one wins something? The best fire pun wins something. Yeah. Oh, I like that. The best fire pun. In relation to the video, it's gotta be a good comment, it's gotta be a fire pun. I will pick the best one, and we'll send you the third giveaway of the night, which I know what it is, you guys don't know, but I'll tell you here shortly. This connector is melted to the exhaust. Well, this used to be the transmission harness connector. And on that note, giveaway number three. No, I'm not gonna do that to you. How do you say carbon fiber in Spanish? Carbon fibre. No. Fibra? No. Yes, it is. I know Spanish. It's not. It's a, yeah, it is. Fibra de carbono. That's what I said. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not C7 guys. They're a little bit out of our budget. You know, a C6 guy, Dalt, you know, a C4 guy. I don't know if this is a stock Y pipe or what. Um, pay attention, Fernando. We got work to do here. I'm sorry. And not Y pipe. I, I do not expect that at all. Reset, guys. <laughs> is this a stock X pipe? I'm not quite sure. It looks pretty awesome. 
The stock ones, I'm sure, are three inches. Made it to the stock MPP exhaust uh, that is no longer with us. RIP. It looks just a little different in the comments. Stock or not? This is definitely not stock hardware. So I'm leaning aftermarket. It's got to be, right? So you got to get a C4 now. If it, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If this video gets five million views, oh we my buy a C4. God. Yes, I will, I will do that. You got to shoot the color now. You got to be That's specific. Open. Yeah, if this video does well, we will definitely hit up Alex legit street cars and bust his C4's ass. Wow, that's, that's a sorry, big call. Sorry, Alex. Wow. But shout out for letting me transport something in your lightning. So thanks. Are you fucking shitting me? Uh, I need a new ratchet. A hundred some dollar Harbor Freight Icon ratchet just broke. That's because you got it from Harbor Freight. <laughs> They're supposed to be good, man. God damn it. Yeah, sure they are. <laughs> and I know this sounds weird to say. This is supposed to be Harbor Freight's nice, nice ratchet. Yeah, you want to use my nice gear wrench, brand new. Who has a 23 millimeter wrench? They do make these really nice things that are actually adjustable yeah, that you can change the size on that work that. really, really good. I think that as the kids would say, these are fire. I think everybody would agree in the comments at all costs possible. You don't want to use an adjustable wrench. I knew I was going to have to do this and people are going to bitch about it. No, we're going to sit here and talk about this. This is my segment. It's called in front of the toolbox tool talk with Lee. Now you guys know why it took us Three damn days to get the Porsche apart. Now, I know I've taken these out with the correct tool for. Maybe it's like a one inch. I don't know. Fernando, you know there's some guy in the comments already. You don't even have the right tools. You got to use an adjustable and a Corvette. Not worthy of working on the Corvette. This it is... ain't no C4, that's for sure. <laughs> well, he's going to make so many jokes that he has to buy one. The only car in the history of automobiles that might be worse than a C4 Corvette. Pontiac GTO. A C3 Corvette. That's it. For 10 million views, don't C4 <laughs> Corvette. I hate C3 Corvette. Corvette. They are buckets of shit. I'll C3s, they that. have these stupid ass like vacuum systems that control everything. What do you think has more displacement, the vacuum system on a C3 or the engine of your Duke? <laughs> <laughs> That's a legitimate question, though. Hopefully this doesn't break on me like a wrench. Oh my gosh. I assume you didn't break that loose, right? Nope. This drain plug was completely loose. Not that I expected this differential to be good, but it should be good at least for the internals as a core. Oh, it's clean. It's clean. clean. Freaking new. Looks like they just weren't good at tightening the drain plug. At least they put the fluid in it. Did you have some issue with that, Carrington? I don't know. I haven't heard that story. I don't know what you're talking about. Fernando. <laughs> shut that up. was a good one. That's all right. No fire plug needed. No, no. Just come with and the facts. I don't know, I did fire In roast. Corbin, the, I did too. fire roast those gears. <laughs> yeah, so like all jokes aside, these bolts like aren't coming out super smooth like you would normally. I think that they either warped or the case or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I, I guess what you're saying is um, they couldn't handle the heat. <laughs> you know, out of the kitchen or something like that. <laughs> I think that is literally what happened, Carrington. People is gonna pull like. All the giveaways that we're gonna that we're gonna give, they're gonna send us a picture, put it next to the tree. That would be sick. Fernando ain't one damn person putting that burnt ass <laughs> wheel and tire next to their Christmas tree. It's just gonna be for the picture. Somebody's getting divorced they're... that they do that. Somebody's <laughs> wife is gonna come in, see that well, under the Christmas tree. They're gonna tree. show who is the man in the house, you know. It's true. We can't yeah. say that it's 2022. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We're gonna get Fernando a charred ass wheel to take home. I do. Post a picture uh, I under it. his tree. I do it. Okay. But then you guys will have to pay me for a hotel because they will have to stay like the whole week around here. Man, see, <laughs> he's talking a you big just game. Man of the house, man of the house. house. I never say who's the man. All right, here's the challenge. If somebody puts that under their tree, Dalt has to buy a C4 Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> that is way too low a standard. <laughs> I don't know what this brake caliper is going to be good for, but I can't just leave it on the car. You can almost see the Corvette logo under there. Mm -mm. We're going to have to sell this for parts for obvious reasons, but if you look right in there, the seals aren't actually melted. Well, it's good for a hat for somebody, maybe.
Oh. That was almost identical, though slightly less impressive, to what happened to Dalton the first smoke video. Look at this axle stuff. It's just falling out, falling off. I gotta get this thing off. Is that hose supposed to come off? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Nice little piece here, a little bit of damage. Giveaway number three, the best fire pun gets the burned supercharged Z06 side vent here. What a gift. Sure to be a hot ticket. Yes. Guess the uh, the cold air intake didn't help this car much. That's kind of satisfying. <laughs> really satisfying. Is that the steering wheel? Oh! <laughs> Next giveaway. <laughs> Flat bottom steering wheel. Yeah, I suppose this would be a good time to announce our fourth giveaway of the video. This thing. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, hang it on a wall. Not my problem, but one of you can have it. What are they putting in the comments for that, Dalt? Oh, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't ask. We're bringing back one from the Porsche video. I hate Nissan Jukes. <laughs> I hate Nissan Jukes in the comments to win yourself that fine hood mat. What is that saying about, you know, you're, you're not doing something right unless you have haters? Ooh. So. I don't think the person that originally said that drove a Nissan Juke, but you never know. You didn't take the shift knob off, Carrington. After dealing with this piece of junk Corvette all night, what better time than now to introduce you to another complete piece of junk? This naturally aspirated Porsche is a complete pile of crap, narrow body, not twin turbo. Oh, we're going that route, okay. As you can tell, we have had our share of fun in this car. It's been a blast the entire time we've had it, but now it's time to get rid of it. We need the space, we need the money for other projects. You guys know we have way too many of those. And while we're done having fun with it, the good news for you guys is it can be your turn to have some fun with it. While we were at SEMA, we found out about Mods and Miles, a website that seemed like a perfect fit for an oddball Corvette like this. The listing for this is almost complete. It is going to be live for you to bid on sometime in the very, very near future. There are not too many cars that give you the opportunity to have 33 inch tires, a V8 engine, go off-roading, get covered in mud and have an absolute blast. For dirt cheap, that's an important distinction. Dirt cheap, pun intended, even though it's mud. Oh, that was, you get it. A few important disclaimers, the Yeti cooler, it is included, you can take it, we don't have a use for it. The pallet on the back with the fishing rod holders is included as well as the winch and we'll even throw in the jumper cable so that way you can power this thing, whether it's on the front or the rear, there are hitches on both of them so it is completely interchangeable. In the words of the late great Billy Mays, but wait, there's more. One of the most prestigious awards in all of the Corvette world, Corvettes at Carlisle. First place, as you can see there, 2021, I believe. Fernando and I took it up there. We dominated the competition. It was a great time. Got a nice trophy to show for it. So if you would like to own this fine piece of American and redneck engineering sitting behind me, keep an eye on Mods and Miles. The car is going to be listed very shortly. And if you win it and you're somewhat local or you feel like taking a really gnarly road trip, you're welcome to come pick it up from the shop. We'll take it out for a day of fun. Remember, if we break it, you already bought it. Also, if you are interested in listing one of your own cars, Mods and Miles is it's an awesome platform. It's free to list your car. They have professional writers, so you don't have to go in there and write a junky ad like you do on Craigslist. You send them pictures, you send them some details, and they do it for you. Not only that, but our good friend Alex at Legit Street Cars is giving away an AMG C63. That ends literally hours from now, but if you missed that one, don't worry. I'm sure there'll be more. Are you going to sell the, the, the complete engine or you will take it apart? Complete engine. As long as it leaks down good. Which it will, I guarantee it. Thanks, Cross. Oh, I've already given guarantees. That's on. That's on you if it comes back bad, Carrington. The middle looks okay. Good. Yep. Good. 
pretty okay. Not okay at all. All right, guys. Oh my, look at the wiring. The wiring's quite, it, it's just melted. I mean, it's straight. I wouldn't call it good because you never know what happens to the couplers inside of it taking all this heat, but at the very least, it's a good core for somebody. Just like the torque tube over there, that's exactly what's gonna become of this transmission and differential course for somebody. Z06 six-speed stuff, no matter the condition. I mean, if it's completely blown apart, it generally holds some kind of value. So even though it looks like this, there's still some value there. How much? I don't know. We'll have to figure out that part later. No. Like a true professional. Look at that. Wait, why are you handing me that? Oh. You gotta split that transmission, man. Oh I wow! You see, I'm just leave chilling me the dirty now. Job? Oh man. I don't want to touch that. It's disgusting. I quit. <laughs> Out pretty good, didn't it? it good. Pretty good so after a half ass power wash by Fernando, being that you know, I see some residue there. He didn't quite get everything. <laughs> that actually hurts. Sorry, I mean uh. the, the, the results speak for themselves. We split the case up, heat didn't affect that, it came apart nice and easy. It's 11:30. All we have to do is leak down this engine, we have to hack the front end off of this car. And we're pretty much good to go. Fernando, I suppose we need to keep it rolling. You ready to leak it down? Yes, but I kind of want to hear your numbers about the leak down. Leak down numbers. Ooh, yeah. leak down predictions. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? Let's see, we already got the sheet out here. Dalt dollar SS. I don't know what that is, but okay. It's pronounced Dalt Money. Thank oh. you. <laughs> weird. I like that. Very weird. <laughs> three, two, four, two, three, three, four, three. Four, 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 four. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be a solid 4-4. Yeah. What do you got, Dalt SS? Dalt SS. I think it's going to be a mixture of 3s, 4s, and 5s. We're Thanks. setting ourselves up for failure yeah, here. We we're, really all, we're all in the same boat here. Okay, so. well, let's uh, find out if we're correct. Oh, she's jumping up strong. 5, numero uno. Yeah, Thank I'll, you. Four. We are off to a great start. We'll check back in on the last one. Hopefully we have good news. I don't like that face. We really f***ed this up. We all guessed it was going to be really good. It ain't really good. We'll just put it like that. What's that? What's that, Fernando? Red. Red, yes. <laughs> to be exact, I think that's an 88, right? Well, the pressure's down a little bit, but either way, this doesn't even really matter at this point. It's that's what I'm getting at. It's absolutely I guess it's I, I guess it's safe to say this engine isn't firing on all cylinders. It's a bad time, Carrington. Yeah, all that stuff we said about this going really well. Specifically that stuff that I said I about this going you. really well. Yeah. I don't know. So just cut it. So now that, that hunk of junk over there let us down badly tonight. I want this car out of my sight. We're cutting the front end off of it. This bar right here, it's aluminum. When somebody bashes this in, they need a replacement. We're gonna hack that off, get this car out of here, and then, unfortunately, we get to come in and do this all again tomorrow night with the engine.
Yeah. Well, last night ended on quite the terrible note. But that's all right, because we got to thinking overnight. We got to playing with this a little bit this morning. I think we worked up a pretty good potential idea for the future, right? I think so. Turning, I guess, you know, a real big negative into what I'd consider a really hot idea. Looking down on the ports, they're all carboned up. I think that probably has something to do with the fact that it leaked down so bad. But once in a while when things like this happen, we like to turn it into a positive. So this is an engine that you may see sometime in the future on the channel. And for as bad as the car was, as bad as the engine was, look at the inside of this blower. It literally looks brand new. That pretty much sounds like a Cobra at 7,500 RPMs. And now that we've put our positive spin on this absolutely disastrous leak down, we're not worried about that anymore. I think everything's going to turn out just fine. I think it'll be poetic, Carrington, maybe even biblical. The motor will rise from the ashes like the Phoenix. Good Lord. So I suppose with one less Corvette in the shop, a future possible project motor, and a little bit of smoke inhalation, that's about a wrap. With one final look at the giveaways there, I'm super excited to send those out to some of you guys. I can't wait to see what you do with them. Send us off. That's it. See ya. <laughs> yeah, you gonna stay there going all like Captain Morgan pose for me? No, or? I'm getting down. I'm getting down. So cool, lowered on stock bolts. <laughs> Isn't a salvage yard anymore, it's a prop for a movie set, basically. Yeah. Safety first, a Scrap Life Garage motto. Did you break that? That sheep ass here. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> look up, don't look up. I told you we need a fan. <laughs> Ruining the audio, Eric. Nailed it. Fire there? Yeah. The the damn equipment doesn't even work right in this place. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I'd be hot about that.